Hello folks, Jack from Peach Guitars here. Good morning to you. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing on a new brand that we've just taken on, ESP Guitars. I say this is going to be quick because compared to the usual unboxings that John does with Fender and Gibson Custom Shop and stuff like that, we've actually just received quite a small shipment uh, so far, but we've just taken this brand on and I really wanted to just push this out to you so that you're aware of this. Um, I've got quite a nice selection of guitars though, so we've got a couple of instruments from the LTD range, which consists mostly of signature artist guitars. And then also I'm going to unbox a few E2 models, which are the Japanese made, sort of fairly premium model guitars. So I've got a nice little smattering, there's more stuff on the way though. And also it's worth checking out the website after you've, after you've watched this video just to see how much LTD stuff we've actually got, because it's quite a healthy selection. So, without any further ado, let me start with one of the um, LTD models I talked about. So this guitar, I think for most people that know about ESP guitars in general, they probably know them mostly nowadays for the whole wealth of different artist models that they've got. It's a really impressive artist lineup, especially if you're more into the, the rock and metal kind of vein. And this guitar probably best represents exactly that. So let me show you what I'm talking about first of all. Comes in a nice black sheet, which I'm just gonna whip off. Somewhat of a dramatic unveiling this guitar's got, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So this guitar is the James Hetfield Iron Cross. So um, among many other artists, obviously James Hetfield is metal royalty and he's had subsequently a few different signature models. The Iron Cross is probably, I would say, the most iconic and uh, the most visually representative of this brand. It's certainly the guitar that I particularly knew them for in terms of their artist lineup guitars. So this is an LTD model, as I said, so this is a Korean made instrument, um, but still really, really premium quality. You've still got the EMG headset pickups in there as well. So there's not really a whole lot of compromise here, you know, without having to spend thousands and thousands on the ESP custom lineup. If you just want to get a flavor of what your favorite artists are playing, ESP really do deliver right down to their LTD line. So this Iron Cross is a great example of that. So that kind of hopefully will set the wheels in motion for what I'm gonna show you with the rest of this lineup, the kind of instruments you can expect. If you're totally unfamiliar with the brand, by the way, um, you know, I can understand why, because we've, we've only just taken them on and um, they're such a huge brand internationally that we really just felt it was about time that we got them in the store. And they do, they make so many different instruments. As I say, it's not just stuff like this. It's not just the rock and metal crowd that they please. There's a lot of different guitars. Um, so to that end, before I show you any more of the LTD uh, signature guitars, I actually get out one of the E2s, which I talked about. And you might have to forgive me here because these are terrifically well packaged guitars. So I'm gonna do my best not to uh, take ages getting this out. Okay, thank you, Luke. Another black sheet. Right, so as I said, this is an E2 guitar. I'm not actually sure. I purposefully didn't look at the box to see what this was because I want to be as surprised as you are. All right, let's get this up there. Back to front, okay. You can tell that John is now the pro at doing these unboxes. No, I'm just the kind of uh, the stand-in. Right, I hope we've got that the right way up. So, E2 guitar, first of, the, first of the day. Let's see what it's about. Okay, so I said they don't appeal to just the rock and metal crowd, but I think this guitar is pretty much exclusively that way. Pretty cool though, we don't really see stuff like this, and so I'm kind of finding it quite refreshing to unbox some guitars and to play some guitars like this as well, from a wealth of different brands. Um, so these E2 guitars, as I said, are Japanese made. You can kind of see, you're gonna see compared to some of the LTD guitars I'll show you today, the quality of the finishes and the kind of components that go into these guitar designs. I'll just that next level up. So, for example, seven string models are something that we're gonna start seeing a fair bit of. You know, it's something that we don't really often have in stock uh, from other brands. So ESP is a great proponent of using some seven string models. So this guitar, I believe, has probably got bare knuckle pickups in here as an example of just some of the boutique and more higher end options that you've got. Uh, and of course, it's got that really gorgeous gradient finishing as well. You will be able to see some nice high res images of these guitars on the website very soon. As I say, this is a really, really quick, um, I literally grabbed these. I think they pretty much came in today. We're probably expecting some more in the very near future as well, but this is just a bit of an introduction. 
So I'd better figure out what that model actually is. HM72 is what the, uh, is what the case says. M7. M7, I'm told. So that's kind of, to me anyway, bread and butter ESP. If, you, if you're aware of the brand, you probably recognize instruments like this. There's a lot of signature artists back in the day maybe that use these more, like the Steph Carpenter models and stuff like that from the Deftones. So we're sort of seeing a little bit of an approximation of some of those kind of uh, signature sensibilities with like the seven string models and stuff like that. There's really just something a little bit different if you're looking for something in the more contemporary field, but you've never really known which direction to go. I'm sure there'll be something in this lineup alone that will impress you. Okay, I think I'll alternate just to keep this as interesting as I can. So I'm gonna go back to a, one of the LTD signature models now. Again, I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm sure it's going to be a good one. Okay, yeah, so perfectly matching with the first one I showed you. You can probably guess what this is going to be. It's Kirky Boy, one of the Kirk Hammett models. Um, again, equally iconic guitarist as James Hetfield, of course, is the other part of the guitar partnership of Metallica. Luke behind the camera has been very excited about these guitars coming in, being a big Metallica fan. And um, as I said, with the Iron Cross, even this LTD model of the Kirk Hammett guitar just feels fantastic. You've got all the kind of premium appointments at the set neck, the extended neck carved heel, the proper, proper Floyd Rose bridge, the proper EMG pickups, the really cool little skull and crossbone inlays. This has actually always been one of my favorite signature models. Across all genres, I think it's such a nice guitar. It's just so clean and simple. Unless you really know what you're looking for and you can kind of you know, look past the little signature on the headstock, I just think it's a really cool guitar in its own right, not just as a signature. So I'm quite looking forward to plugging one of these in. In fact, this was almost one of my very first guitars, a Kirk Hammett model. Uh, I didn't get one for some reason, but you know, it's never too late, I suppose. So that's another good, uh, good offering from LTD. And again, just between those two, even if you take out the Metallica Association, you've got a single cut and you've got uh, a double cut with a Floyd. So a couple of really cool different options there just as instruments in their own right. I always think that's important, more so than the artists that they represent if you're just looking for a good instrument. Right. Okay. All right, so that alternates. So let's just literally go in the order that I've got here. It's another um, E2 guitar, which is to say one of the Japanese models. And if you're wondering, by the way, why none of these guitars are actually branded ESP, despite being part of the ESP company, my belief is that ESP is essentially the very, very top tier custom shop level guitars, which hopefully we might start to see in the future. But these E2s are equally capable instruments and they're Japanese crafted, still really premium guitars. making a horrific mess already. I do apologize to everyone who's gonna to have to sort this in. Probably be me. Okay, so, E2, um, totally different vibe again to the first guitar I showed you. It's still a double cut, six strings this time. So a little bit more comfortable for most, I'd imagine. And this is a Horizon model, which I guess is their kind of flagship double cut. Um, actually, really nice bevel top on that. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Again, pictures will be up very soon. Duncan pickups in this guitar, Floyd Rose trim, that really nice bevel top. Looks like a nice ebony board on this guitar as well. And interestingly enough, for, for more of a kind of high performance guitar, if you like, the neck is actually, it's not chunky, but it's, it's very well rounded. It's actually quite traditional feeling, which I, I quite like that. And again, ESP um, do a really good job with the gloss finishes on their necks. So that kind of has a particular feel in hand as well. Not everyone goes for a glossy neck, uh, but I think it's quite refreshing to see that. A lot of these high performance guitars, as I say, tend to have more of a satin finish on the neck. So I actually quite like that touch. Um, really nice headstock join as well. And then you've got the kind of, I'm gonna say it's mayonnaise-esque. I'm sure ESP probably did it before mayonnaise did, but in terms of guitars in our recent history as a shop that we've seen, 
that's very much reminiscent of that, which I really like the look of as well. Goto locking tuners to go with that locking trim and a locking nut as well. So, you know, maybe you've never had a Floyd Rose guitar before and maybe now is the perfect time. Really nice finish too. I'm not actually sure what that is, but it's kind of like a quilty, I don't know, sandstone maybe? As I said, I'm not going too heavy on the specs in this video. It's literally just here are some new guitars from us, which I think they've all been pretty impressive so far, actually. That one in particular, that's probably my favorite so far. But as always, we want to know what you think. So please comment below with your thoughts on these guitars. And if there's a favorite that stood out to you so far, let us know. Right, so last of the LTD guitars, and last of the signature guitars, in fact, from this particular lineup today. Let's see what it is. All with hard cases as well, it's just worth pointing out, you know, that's a nice premium appointment too that we don't always see from brands at pretty much every price point that they do, or at least everyone that I'm showing you today. Let's see what we got. Okay, another one for the metal crowd. So this guitar is called, I think it's called the Warbird. Signature model for um, one of the Lamb of God guitar players, Willie Adler. Some cool little graphics on there if you like that sort of thing. Fisherman Fluence pickups as well, uh, which, which if you're unfamiliar with those pickups, in terms of the kind of high performance, high output active pickups nowadays, Fishman are probably doing the most interesting work. We've seen them on a few guitars and they often have this kind of push-pull uh, system to give you alternate voicings or split coils or whatever you want to do with the pickups. They, they've often got quite versatile options. Uh, this guitar does actually have a, uh, a satin neck or a sanded down neck, which again, as, as I said before, it's just a question of taste, whether you like that sort of thing or if you prefer a glossy finish. Really nice set neck design though. Quite a lightweight guitar as well for a single cut, that's quite light. I'm not sure what the body wood on this is. I would guess it's probably a mahogany with a maple kind of a deal. Could be wrong on that though. I'll check the website. Uh, well, you can check the website if you're interested. So yeah, the Warbird model, it's kind of a takeoff of the Eclipse, which is their single cut uh, guitar. Just a nice lockdown uh, standard tailpiece. Locking tuners again, they are just LTD branded locking tuners. So hard to fault that really. Again, if you want another high performance take, but with a single cut sensibility and you don't want the uh, the Iron Cross, here's another option for you if you're a big Lamb of God fan or if you just want a blacked out single cut guitar. It's a pretty good option, I think. Probably gonna get around to playing most of these guitars as well. So if you're interested in hearing them, uh, do stay tuned to the YouTube channel imminently because as always, we'll be putting out listing videos, certainly of the E2 guitars and most probably of these LTDs as well. So you will get to hear all these if you're interested. Okay, so last one for today. It's another E2 guitar. And I will just sneak a, sneak a peek actually at what this is. This is an Eclipse that you're going to see. So the guitar I just showed you is pretty much based off of this model. So if you don't want to go down the artist route, and equally if you want to kind of upscale a little bit to an E2 guitar, a little bit more of a premium affair, then this is... Uh, this is a good option for that. Okay, let's check it out. Ah. Sorry, involuntary case opening noises there. Everyone does it. I think that's kind of worth it. Certainly an interesting finish really don't see stuff like this very often at all. And um, what I like about ESP in my kind of fairly concise knowledge of the company is that they've always had these quite contemporary designs, even back in the 80s when they were putting stuff out. They often attracted a lot of artists because they were really just forward thinking, whether it came down to the electronics they were putting in their guitars or the general designs, stuff like just thinning out the body of a standard single cut with the extended contours and stuff like that. And then of course with the aesthetics as well, you know, you could really get a bit nuts with a gradient blue flame sandy finish like that with a matching headstock, totally blue back as well. Goto locking tuners once again, EMG pickups. I'm not sure if these are the headset or maybe they're the, um, 
the newer sort of lower output, more vintage sounding EMGs that, that they've been working on. And yeah, you've got the same electronics to be able to split the coils on those. So there you go. There's a few options for you there. I actually really like this one. And it's got quite a slim neck as well. It's not quite as rounded out as that horizon I showed you before. So, okay, I appreciate it's a bit of a different smattering of different instruments today, but hopefully what you'll get from this brand, if you're totally new to ESP, this kind of summarizes what they do best, which is they work very well with their artists and they really fine tune on what those guys are looking for out of their instruments and they can convey them to you, the customer. But also with these E2 guitars, this is kind of just the spirit of the brand. It's really, really nice design, Japanese crafted, as I said, with this E2 lineup. And there's definitely something for every kind of player looking for a high, higher performance guitars. There are also some more uh, classic inspired designs as well, which we'll probably be seeing in the future. But for now, these are the guitars that best sum up the brand. So, six guitars in, many, many more on the website. So check that out if you're interested. As I say, you'll be seeing a lot more from this brand, as well as a few other brands that we've just taken on in the near future. But today was just a little bit of a brief introduction. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to find out any more about those guitars or the LTDs or the rest of the E2 lineup, or indeed any more about ESP in general, check out peachguitars.com by clicking the link down below. Check out the listing videos that will be coming out very shortly. And as always, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.